Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement depth first search graph traversal technique. In the previous session, we have discussed the design steps to implement the depth first search traversal technique. Now, we will discuss an example to implement the depth first search traversal. So, the procedure to implement depth first search technique is initially consider one vertex as the starting vertex and mark A as visited. Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertices to A, that is C, D and E. Among these three vertices, we need to break the tie by considering in alphabetical order. So, alphabetical order C comes first. So, next, mark C as visited, right? Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertices to C now. So, adjacent unvisited vertices to C is D and F. Among these two, break the tie by considering in alphabetical order and visit D. Next, there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to D. So, consider C only. Now, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to C, that is F, mark F as visited. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to F, that is B and E, break the tie and visit B. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to B, that is E. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to E, no adjacent unvisited vertices. Now, this is over. So, this graph is over. Here, universal vertex remains unvisited. So, start the DFS procedure again. Now, here in this graph, consider G as the starting vertex, mark G as visited. Next, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to G, that is H and J. Among these two, break the tie and visit H. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to H, that is I, visit I. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to I, that is J, visit J. Now, all the vertices in the given graph is visited and this is the DFS traversal output for this given graph. And the data structure here we will use in depth first search traversal is stack data structure. In breadth first search, we will use Q data structure, okay. So, now, how we are going to implement the depth first search traversal technique using stack data structure step by step that we will discuss now. So, first step, consider the starting vertex. The here starting vertex, we will consider it as A. Push A into the stack, okay. Here we have to use stack data structure. So, push A into the stack. Whenever you are reaching the unvisited vertex for the first time, that we need to push it into the stack. Whenever the particular vertex is visited and all its adjacent vertices also visited in the sense, it remains in the top of the stack. That time we can able to pop it from the stack. So, here push A into the stack and mark A as visited. So, what is the traversal output we will get it here in the sense? That is A we will get it. Okay, since we have visited A. But still it remains in the stack. When we can able to pop it from the stack? When there is no more adjacent unvisited vertices and if it remains in the top of the stack in the sense, that time we can able to pop it. Okay. Now, A remains in the stack only. Next, step 2. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to A. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to A is C, D and E. So, all three vertices have equal importance. So, how we will break the tie? By considering in alphabetical order. So, which vertex comes first in alphabetical order? That we will visit first, okay? So, break the tie and visit vertex C and push C into the stack. So, already in the stack A is there. If you are pushing C into the stack, now the top of the stack is C. And the output here is visiting order is A visited first, C next we have visited. Next, step 3 adjacent unvisited vertex to C, that is currently visited vertex is C. So, consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to C. It is D and F, break the tie and visit D, because alphabetical order D comes first and push D into the stack. So, already in the stack A is there and then C, now it is D. Now, top of the stack is nothing but D. Output, traversal output is A first we have visited, next is C and next it is D. This is step 3. Next is step 4 if you are considering in the sense, stack if you are considering A is at the bottom, next is C, next is D. So, currently visited vertex is D and if you are considering adjacent unvisited vertex to D in the sense, 
A and C it is already visited. That is in the output. A, C and D. These three vertices already we have placed in the traversal output because already we have visited. So, A and C is already visited. So, there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to D. So, pop D from the stack. So, popped order is D we have popped from the stack. So, remove D. Now, in the stack A and C only. Next, step 5. We are considering the stack in the sense A is there and C is there. Right? So, top of the stack is C. So, now again we need to consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to C. Because C is in the top of the stack. Okay? So, adjacent unvisited vertex to C is F. A and D already it is visited. So, F is unvisited vertex. Push F into the stack and mark F as visited. Traversal output is A. C, D and F. And the popped order if you are considering in the sense D is the first vertex we have popped from the stack. Okay. This is popped order. Next step. Currently visited vertex is F. So, adjacent unvisited vertex to F is E and B is unvisited. So, break the tie and visit B first and push B into the stack now. So, already in the stack A is there. C is there and F is there. Now we have to push B into the stack. And the traversal output is A, C, D, F, B. And popped order is D is the first vertex we have popped from the stack. Next, step 7. Adjacent unvisited vertex to currently visited vertex is B. And what is the stack content? It is A, C, F and B. Already it is there in the stack. And the adjacent unvisited vertex to B is E now. Mark E as visited and push E into the stack. So, E now we have visited and push E into the stack now. Right? So, the traversal output is A, C, D, F, B, E. And popped order is D only we have popped from the stack. So, now currently visited vertex is E. So, next step we need to consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to E. But there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to E. F and B already it is visited, right? There is, there is no unvisited vertex to E. So, we need to pop E from the stack. So, here output is, traversal output is A, C, D, F, B, E. And we have to pop E from the stack. First, we have popped D. Next, we need to pop E from the stack. And now, in the top of the stack, if you are considering, B is there. Next, consider adjacent unvisited vertex to B. F and E already visited. There is no adjacent unvisited vertices. So, again pop B from the stack and place it in the popped order. So, again pop B from the stack. Now, B also it is popped. Next, if you are considering F is placed in the top of the stack, consider F and consider its adjacent unvisited vertices. C, E, B or adjacent vertices to F, all three are visited. So, now F also pop from the stack, right? And next to top of the stack is C. Consider adjacent unvisited vertex to C. A, D, F are adjacent to C. But A, D, F are already visited. So, pop C also. Right? So, pop C also from the stack. Next to consider top of the stack is A. Consider adjacent unvisited vertices D, C, E already visited. So, pop A also from the stack. So, now A also popped from the stack. Now, if you are considering stack is empty now and popped order here is first we have popped D, next E, next B, next F, next C and E. And traversal output here is A, C, D, F, B, E. Okay, now the stack is empty. And if you are considering here, there are two disjoint graph here. This graph is not connected to this outer graph. Okay, so in case if any universal vertices remains unvisited in the sense, you need to restart the DFS procedure again. Okay, so next step, restart the DFS procedure and here consider the starting vertex as G. And now push G into the stack and mark G as visited. And the traversal output is A, C, D, F, B, E. So, this is the traversal output already. So, now we have pushed G into the stack and mark G as visited and we have to place it into the traversal output. And the popped order if you are considering in the sense, it is 
D E B F C A. This is the popped order of vertices from the stack. Next step, currently visited vertex is G. Now consider adjacent unvisited vertex to G. That is H and J, both are unvisited. So now we will need to break the tie by considering an alphabetical order. So alphabetical order, which vertex comes first? H comes first. So now mark H as visited and push it into the stack. And the traversal output here is A, C, D, F, B, E, G and H. Popped order is same only. Now we have not popped any vertex from the stack. Right. Next step 11. Currently visited vertex is H. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to H. That is I. So mark I as visited and push I into the stack. And the stack if you are considering it is G. H. Now I we need to push it into the stack. Now the top of the stack is I. So traversal output is A, C, D, F, B, E, G, H already and I is the newly visited vertex. We have to place it into the traversal output. Okay. So this is the traversal output and popped order is same only. That is D, E, B, F, C, A only. Next step. Currently visited vertex is I. So next step consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to i that is j now mark j as visited push j into the stack so already the stack contents are g h i and now we need to push the new vertex unvisited vertex that is j and the traversal output is a c d f b e g h i now it is j and the popped order from the stack if we are considering in the sense it is D E B F C A. Now the currently visited vertex is J. Next consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to J. So adjacent vertices to J is G and I. Both is already visited and we have placed in the traversal output also. So there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to J. So pop J from the stack and the stack if you are considering G, H, I and we need to pop J from the stack. Okay. Now the top of the stack is I. Traversal output is same only. Right. Now the top of the stack is I. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to I. So adjacent vertices to I is H and J. Both is already visited. So there is no adjacent unvisited vertex to I. Pop I from the stack also and place it in the popped order. So previously we have popped J, now we have popped I, right? And next to consider the top of the stack element is H. Consider the adjacent unvisited vertex to H. No adjacent unvisited vertex. So pop H also from the stack and place it into the popped order. Okay, now it is H. Next to top of the stack is G. There is no adjacent unvisited vertex to G. So G also you need to pop from the stack. So this is the popped order. And now if you are popping G, now the stack is empty. And if you are considering the graph also, we have visited all the vertices in the given graph using depth first search traversal technique. And the traversal output is A, C, D, F, B, E, G, H, I, J. So this is the traversal output. And the popped order from the stack is D, E, B, F, C, A, J, I, H, G. So this is the popped order of vertices from the stack. So now we got the DFS traversal output. So the DFS traversal output for this given graph is first we have visited A, then C, D, F, B, E, G, H, I and J. So order if you are considering first we have visited A, then C, so second C, third D, 4th F, 5th B, 6th E, 7th G, 8th H, 9th I and 10th it is J. And the popped order of vertices from the stack if you are considering in the sense. First we have popped D and then it is E, then B, then F, then C, A, J, I, H, G. First we have popped D, second E. Third B, likewise we need to consider. So this is the order of vertices we have visited using 
depth per search traversal technique and this is the popped order of vertices from the stack. If specifically they have asked the popped order in the sense, you need to specify. So this is the DFS traversal output for this given graph and the popped order of vertices also given. And this is the procedure to implement. Thank you for watching this video.